Hi, I'm Greg Tardy. I play jazz saxophone and clarinet. Please come join us on Love People on YouTube. Uh, well, I mentioned the earlier bands with Clara Bryant and Teddy Edwards and John and Jeff Clayton and Gerald Wilson. Those stick with me because that was my beginning. Those were my salad days. That's when I was really still learning the music and learning the vibe, learning about professionalism. Uh, I worked with Buster Williams. I worked with Joe Henderson. Uh, worked with Benny Carter. Worked with Wynton Marsalis. Worked with, I, I, was, I was almost in Ray Brown's band, but it didn't come to fruition. But I did definitely audition. Um, I worked with Willie Jones for a lot of years. Uh, I worked with Paula West. I worked with Mary Stallings. I worked with a lot of singers. Um, um, but in terms of the, the band experiences that stuck out most for me, I'd have to say Freddie Hubbard. Because it was like watching magic. It just didn't make sense. I mean, in my mind, I knew, practice, you can play. But this went beyond that. This was like, God was like a freak of nature. And he rarely practiced later, in later years. Um, but we'd be on stage, and Freddie, Freddie was wild. Freddie was, he was just wild. But once he put the horn to his mouth, that was it. And the stuff that came out was just, how, how are you doing this? What? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Because again, we, you know, you practice the arbon, you know, do 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 you practice the slurs, you practice your, you know, whatever long tones and your, and your buzz, you, you, you know, anybody can do that. You, you, you decide, you say, I want to practice the trumpet. Okay, boom, I'm going to do this, 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 this. So there's, there's a whole book, there's, there's centuries of pedagogy that can show you how to do it correctly. But to do what Freddie Hubbard did, that don't come from no book. There's something in his brain and in his heart that took him to another space entirely that went beyond pedagogy, went beyond traditional theory. He was a genius. That's, that's, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. In short, he was, he was a genius. You know?